questions, please. That would help. Just bear me a second, guys. Um, all right, okay. This could be very, very quick, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm trying to find the uh, right view. Ah, oh, now we've got people. Bear me a second. Okay, we can't take everyone. <laughs> we can't take everyone. I'll take the hands that we've got. Um, give us a second. Have someone to come on. Here we go. All right. Good. Okay. Gallery. There we are. Right, we've got Carl Markham to kick us off. Then we will go to Dave Maddock, Neil Jones, Chris Baskerman. That should be us. So you want to kick us off, Neil? That's uh, Carl, Carl and Neil. Carl and Neil. Hi, Jurgen. Um, judging by your reaction at the end, that was uh, sort of the performance you were looking for, and the intensity and the, the, the focus you, you called for at the start of the week. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, uh, the, 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 the challenge we obviously face every week, but this week was especially difficult uh, because Leeds play so different to all other teams. Uh, and um, when you then have only one proper session to prepare it, you saw in, in the game that we needed the first 15 minutes at least to, to get used to it properly. So it was a hectic starting phase, a lot of... Pressing balls here, pressing balls. When we could have calmed the game down, we didn't. But then we we, we, we found our feet pretty much. And then we, we really calmed the game down. And then we really, our passing, our timing, everything was better. Positioning was better, movements were better. And, and then we uh, scored the goals. Um, forced the penalties, obviously, but scored the goals. And um, so, absolute okay first half. But um, Leeds is famous for big comebacks um, like at Aston Villa or wherever uh, so and they had again their, their moments in the beginning of the second half but we controlled the game pretty well I have to say and um, played then really good football and I thought uh, the longer the team went the game went the, 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 the better we used the size of the pitch and then with the way Leeds defense it's then obviously really tricky to win all these 1-1 one -one battles and all these kind of things and then we scored really nice goals and um, could have scored even more so um, yes very happy about the performance Thank you Carl we'll go to Neil and then we'll go to Chris Neil Hi Jürgen Hi. I, I don't think I've ever seen you celebrate a, goal, a game around feel like that with, with the fist pumps that you gave does that tell you a little bit about the position you feel that the the team's in and the, the the fact that you'll need the fans for these games coming up. I'm not so sure. I I, I um, if I would have been there ten seconds later, I wouldn't have done it. But um, in that moment, I got a little bit carried away. Obviously, it doesn't happen too often anymore to me. But in this moment, it happened, and uh, absolutely fine um, for the moment. And um, I really love. Um, how the whole stadium responded um, tonight to the game and how we really were in the game as a unit. Um, and uh, I couldn't be more thankful for the support from, of the people because um, um, so many things happened only because of them. And um, I'm, I'm really happy that we, from time to time, will not happen a lot, obviously, <laughs> uh, but we can give them a performance and a, and a scoreline like tonight. Um, but yeah, that's it pretty much. Cheers now, Chris. I put you on mute. Up, Chris. It's, it's, it's fine to be fair, Matt. I was going to ask a similar question, so it's okay. You can move on. So. No probs, no probs. Okay, so we'll go to Dave Maddock, I think, to finish, who's not on the camera at the moment. Dave will be the last question or questions. Dave, I don't know if you can hear. There we are. There we are. Uh, you're gonna, I, I mean, obviously, now you're, you're three points behind uh, City. You were, I think, you were 14 points behind about 10 days ago. So, uh, sorry, 12 points behind 10 days ago. I, I mean, it is a remarkable um, turnaround in that sense. Uh, um, and I think the way that you, you've done it, you 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 just keep scoring goals. That's 106 for the season already. But you and you've got 17 different goal scorers, which is a club record. Equally in it. You've done it twice, twice before, and do you? Is that the philosophy that you just have to go on the front foot to to chase City down, to to be? First, no, actually, we, honestly, we don't chase City. We 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 we, we, we try to win our football game. So, um, and the thing is, now we have obviously the cup final of the weekend, and. Um, City plays, I don't even know exactly who, but they might probably win uh, this game. Then it's six points again before we play the next Premier League game. So, and I'm not sure if we play then the next game after them or before them, it might be nine points. 
uh, all of a sudden. So we don't have to count these kind of things. We just have to win our football games. And do we do that front-footed? Yes. But as much as I love the the the, the, the goals we scored tonight, as much as I love, um, as much as I love the um, I love the clean sheet. So because everything we do is based on a on a on a top organized defensive performance. Without that, we are just a, a, a good football team. With that, we can be a successful football team. And um, I like the way I like the determination we showed again tonight um, for for defending the commitment of the boys. And um, it's. It's um, yeah, it's an interesting period, definitely an interesting period of the season coming up. Now we play the final and uh, FA Cup, then um, and then I don't even know until then <laughs> West Ham or what is the North West? Probably so. Oh my God! And nobody should um, c- count the points before we play them because we we lost there the game. So there's obviously if well, we play the open bill, um, we have to clarify something. But it's in in ten days or so. So so many things can happen until then. Um, we just have to stay really focused uh, and and go for it with all we have. Okay. And uh, Carla, I've actually got your hand back up. This will be the last question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't leave Jason. I was asking about Joel's goal. He's uh, he's threatened to do that quite a lot this season. Is it, is it something you've encouraged him to do? Come out from defence like that. You might remember the goal we scored. It was the most goal after cro- after Trent's cross at Leeds. I'm pretty sure it was a very similar situation. So obviously the way Leeds defends, it gives especially to L on that right side the chance. And actually, it's a duty then to step in to to make yards. Then in the end, they will always wait a block, and then you have to find a way uh, to to yeah to keep the game going. And he did that this time with a pass to the outside and followed through. So, but it's absolutely great. And then you finish it off. <laughs> um, it's not possible in all games, and not not um, needed in all games. But against Leeds, it's possible, and against Leeds, it's needed as well. So he did that very well and um, got the full reward for it. Really happy for him. Great, everyone. Stay safe. Safe journey home. And, uh, Thank you very much. See you on Friday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Speak soon. Bye-bye.